Welcome to your science class my dear children. In today's class you will learn an interesting topic in science that is the world of plants. In this new chapter you will be learning about roots and stems. You have already learned about different parts of a plant. In this chapter you will be learning about roots and stems. Let us see. Here you can observe a tree. Can you observe the roots? Here you can observe the roots. Observe the roots carefully. You have already learned about what are roots and two types of roots they are tap roots and fibrous roots. Tap roots are the roots that have one main root and many tiny roots arise from that one main root. Fibrous roots are the roots that do not have one main root. They have many smaller roots or bushy roots that arise from the end of the stem. Here you can observe fibrous roots. Many thin roots or small roots arise from the end of the stem and they go into the soil. In today's class you will be learning about special types of roots. They are special tap roots and special fibrous roots. Special tap roots are water storing roots and food storing roots. Special fibrous roots are propagative roots aerial roots and buttress roots. Here you can observe the roots. Can you observe here small thread like structures? The small thread like structures present on roots are called root hairs. Here small thread like structures they are root hairs. The root hairs absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Now let us learn about special types of roots. First one is food storing roots. Some tap roots store food in the form of starch for the plants. These are edible roots. We can eat them or consume them. Here in the picture you can observe the roots of carrots, beetroots, radishes and turnips. These are the examples for food storing roots. Next is water storing roots. These are also the tap roots. Some tap roots store water that help the plants survive in dry regions and in summers. These roots store water in them. They are water storing roots. Here you can see the roots of pumpkin and bottle guard are some examples for water storing roots. Next is propagative roots. These are special fibrous roots. Some fibrous roots have buds that lie close to the surface of the soil. Here you can observe in the picture they have buds that lie close to the surface of the soil. They propagate or grow individually into new plants. They grow into new plants. They are propagative roots. Here in the picture you can observe the examples of propagative roots. The roots of cherries and strawberries have propagative roots. Children, did you know that roots also grow above the ground? Yes, they grow above the ground. Here you can observe aerial roots. These are fibrous roots that grow above the ground. The roots hang in the air from the branches of the plant. Some of these roots also reach the ground and grow further. There are some trees such as mangroves, they also have aerial roots. Mangroves grow in marshy areas with clay soil 
and hold a lot of water here you can observe the roots that are above the water they grow near the water bodies or sea shores the roots are above the water they help the tree to absorb the air next is buttress roots these are large fibrous roots of trees that grow out from the base of the tree trunks here you can observe buttress roots you can see that they are above the ground they mostly grow in rain forests the roots do not go deep into the soil because of the poor quality of the soil they absorb the nutrients from the top layer of the soil you can observe the roots carefully children the roots are spread in all side to prevent the tree from falling these roots are found in bay fig tree this is seen in bay fig tree the roots of bay fig tree help them to absorb more nutrients from the soil in today's class you have learnt about special types of roots they are special tap roots and special fibrous roots special tap roots are water storing roots and food storing roots special fibrous roots are propagative roots aerial roots and buttress roots the stem how the stem helps the plant the stem transports water and nutrient absorbed by the roots to all parts of the plant here you can see the water and minerals absorbed by the roots are transported to different parts of the plant by the stem stem supports the plant and keeps it upright so you can see the plant that is straight or upright stem helps to keep the plant upright so these are the functions of the stem the stem of a tree grows into trunk you can see in this small video how the stem of the tree grows into a trunk in the stem there are different types of stems they are herbaceous stems woody stem and modified stems you will learn about it in detail herbaceous stems these stems are thin soft and can be easily bent they are found in herbs such as mint here i have the stem of the herb you can see here it is easily bent and can be cut so you saw that the stem are thin soft and can be easily bent here is a picture of mint this is the example for herbaceous stem you can see the stem that is thin soft and can be easily bent next is woody stems these stems are thick hard and usually brown plants with woody stems usually live for more than 2 years here are the examples of woody stems that is mango tree rose plant hibiscus plant these are the examples of plants having woody stems modified stems 
What do you mean by modified stems? Some plants show modification in their stems to perform specific functions other than giving support to the plant. In modified stems, there are two types. There are underground stem modification and aerial stem modification. Underground stem modification. These stems grow under the ground and are modified for storing food. Ginger and potato are examples of underground modified stems. Here you can see the picture of underground stem modification. They are potato and ginger. They have the stem that grows under the ground and modified for storing food. Aerial stem modification. In this there are two types. They are tendril and thorn. Tendril. Some climbers such as pea plants and grape vines have a weak stem and cannot grow erect. Hence, in these plants, the stem is modified into a tendril. Tendril are thread-like structures which twine around poles and pillars for support. Here, I have the branch of the plant. Here you can see thread-like structures which help the plant to twine to the poles and pillars for support. Here you can see the thread like structures. So this is the example for tendril. The other examples for tendril are grape vines, pea plants. You can see this thread like structure which help them support. So these are the example for tendril. Thorn. What do you mean by thorn children? Thorns are hard pointed structures on the stem of the plant that protect the plant from grazing animals. Lemon and pomegranate are few examples of plants in which are modified into thorns. Here I have the branch which has thorns. So you can see hard pointed structure that is modified for the protection of the plant. This is one of the example for thorn or the branch having thorn. Here you have the pictures which are the example for the branch or the plant having thorn. They are lemon. You can see hard pointed structures and pomegranate. If you have it in your house, you can observe the thorn in the branches of these plants. Stay home, stay safe.